All right, welcome back. Today we're going to look at lesson 14, which is the mini project, creating animation in code.org. So this is kind of a, you know, work at your own kind of thing here. So it's not going to, um, it won't all look the same from person to person. I'm just going to kind of walk through the each part of this and kind of explain what you need to do. Um, if you notice here, it talks about what, you know, what movements do you see in the space? So this is the first part of lesson 14. So it's about what movements do you see in the space? I look at this and I see the character that it looks like he's rotating back and forth um, within the draw loop. And if I run this again, I'll see a character moving up like this. And actually the text is within this too. So they have the text moving along with this character. Um, what movements use random numbers? This would be the random number for sure here because it's inconsistent. Um, this uses the counter that has it moving up. Okay, so let's start taking a look at this. So the first part of this is you're going to draw a background. Okay, so as this loads, um, you're just going to need to draw a background on here. What I would do is use the draw loop as well. Um, but we'll go ahead and put this in here. And then let's go ahead and add a background. We'll just drag a color out here. Okay, we'll make it green. Okay, so if I run this, it's got a green background. Okay, and then they also want you to put some shapes in there. So let's go ahead and um, let's put an ellipse. We'll put it up near the upper, let's see the grid here. So let's place it up here, kind of like what they did. So 300, 100. Oops. And let's make it like 50, 50. Let's just see what that looks like. There you go. It's gray. Let's fill that like yellow and let's make this a little bigger okay so that's the first part here and actually you don't need the draw loop right away so we'll just kind of drag this out here okay and then they talk about adding a second shape so go ahead and you can do that as well let's look at part three so we're going to add some sprites onto this With your background in place, it's time to add your sprites. Add or draw at least two sprite animations in the animation tab. So let's go over here. We'll just add, oh, let's just add a, let's go with the frog. Yeah, let's do some, all right, so let's go ahead and add this. Actually, again, I don't think I'm going to need this. We're just going to add the sprites in for right now. We'll call this frog. Let's give them location. Let's not have it in the middle of the screen. So let's do up in the upper right hand corner. What would that be? 100, 100. Let's do that. Oops. Um, each one in, in the animation. Oh yes, we got to do this. And let's go ahead and select that animation. And then we do have to draw the sprite. Oh, he's way too big. Let's do, let's go ahead and change his size here. Let's make that like 0.5. And you notice with the scale, it's based on decimal points. So there we go. In fact, let's make that a little even smaller. About three. There, that's a little better. All right. So you got to create two. I just created one here in an example. All right, very good. And we could actually, well, we're not going to, change the tit although you could all right 
so now let's go take the fourth part All right, so let's add two lines of text. Let's just, I'm just gonna add one, give you an idea here. So we'll do text size. I'm gonna do this down below here as the last thing. And we'll do size 24. And we'll do, I like CS or computer, oops. Computer science. And well, we'll do that in the way in the upper right, upper left hand corner. Let's move that down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now we have some text on there. Alright. They do want two text block, two text lines, so you'll have to add those. And if you do want to change the color and things like that, you can do that. You can do stroke color and just different things. So, all right, good luck with that part. Let's go ahead and take, and take a look at the fifth part here, which is the move bit. And this is where we'll have to actually draw the draw loop. Okay, so now we want to add some draw loop here because we're going to have some movement to this. And it says add movement to your sprites, text, or drawn shapes. Include one type of random movement. Include one type of counter pattern. I'm going to just show you the counter pattern for right now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and draw this in here. We're going to need our draw sprite inside of this. And well actually let's have the frog. We'll have him move. I'll show you both ways. So. The first way, if we want our frog to move, I'm going to go ahead and change the Y location for this. So we're going to drag this out here, okay, and call that frog. Obviously, if you had a second character here, it'd be pretty easy to affect that. And then I'm going to drag my math out here. So we're going to add to this to make it go down. That's what I'm going to have it do. So go back to the Y, drag this out. Okay, and then we'll just make it three. Now, I will say this is gonna not work correctly for us, and I'll explain why here in just a minute, but you'll, I wanna use this as an example. If you run this, you'll see that the frog is now drawing itself each time. And that's kinda of how the draw loop works, right? Like every time it refreshes or loops back through, it's changing this by three. So we didn't have a background in this draw loop. And because of that, it just basically created the character each time plus three with no new background on here. So let's go ahead and we'll draw the background in here. Now, if we did this, watch what happens. There you go. However, now we lost our yellow orb because we refreshed the background and the yellow ball is gone. So we're gonna drag this in here. We're gonna drag this in here. And then the text got overlaid as well. So we're gonna to have to drag this in here and this in here, oops. And actually, I may have to do that. There we go, okay. So now we got the frog working this way. So this is how I would have it move this direction. Let's say though, instead, what I wanna do is have the frog Y location, um, I want them to shake back and forth. So I want to use a random number. So instead of this, um, we're going to actually just change the location. I'm gonna drag this out here and I'm gonna drag my random number. And if I look at where my character is right now, his Y location is 100, okay? So let's make this 90 to 110. What's gonna happen this way of doing it is it's gonna change the Y location from 90 to 110 and randomly do that. And it will do that each time and it should give that character a look like it's shaking. There you go. So now it's gonna shake up and down. If I wanted to go side to side, I would use the X, but that's the same concept, okay? All right, I hope it helps you with your coding. 
Um, good luck with this project. It's a lot of fun and a really good experience. And yeah, hope this helps you.